So what had happened was, I was editing the Earth Wednesday video I had made earlier today, and it was just, it was bad. It was bad. Like, so much fail, my, my shirt was even on backwards. Not this shirt, other shirt. Ugly shirt, on backwards, not good. Along with a whole slew of other things, let me tell ya. So, we're gonna try this again. Earth Wednesday, take two. But before we get to that, I'm gonna go ahead and answer our question of the week. Like I said on Sunday, uh, question of the week is childhood experience, blah blah blah. When I was in preschool, <laughs> I got in so much trouble. Now, the reason why I got in so much trouble was because me and this girl, who I was friends with, we kinda... We kissed. Okay, we kissed in the toy house thing. And... Little kids aren't supposed to kiss! But, you know, you're, you're little. You're like, fuck that. I know what I'm supposed to do. I watch television. Obviously, we were both just imitating at that time. Or at least I was. There wasn't any, like, physical attraction or anything that had developed at that point. Um, that was preschool. Yeah. You wanna see a picture of me? I know I have one in some ways. Ah. Well, it's not really preschool, but, um, that's me with my dad. The one in the white. Yeah, that's me. That's my dad. And, in case you were wondering, that's my mom and that's my dad in a shinier picture. I like the photo frame? It's really nice. Um, but yeah, that's what that is. And on with Earth Wednesday! Hi! Hi. We're Windows Wednesday. Daily, and you're watching Wild Earth Wednesday with me, Sean. First up here on Earth Wednesday, we have a story that's a little, a uh, bit of a Debbie Downer. If you are squeamish at all, please fast forward through this part. I don't want you to get sick all over your computer. The last female rhinoceros in a South African game reserve was recently killed by poachers. Their horns are often used in Asian traditional medicines, and with Asia's booming economy, so does the demand for rhinoceros horns. Now the recent demand for rhinoceros horn has driven the species population down to a one-third of what it was in the 70s. When will this all stop? When poachers are having to raid local zoos to get their rhinoceros horns? Only time will tell. Next up we have an article that may seem a little obvious. Recent psychology studies have come up with proof that vegans and vegetarians are more empathetic in general when compared to the average omnivore. I'm not trying to convert anybody, I'm just saying there are a lot of uh, very good reasons why you would want to become vegetarian. And you can do what I'm doing, and taking it a step at a time, and eventually coming to a point where meat is only something like you do on like really special occasions, like with the whole family there, and then you have a turkey. That's it. You know, something like that. So, as usual, everything's down in your prescription. I hope you guys actually go there, because I see, I see you. I see you. You don't go. You don't go. Yeah, you. Yeah, no, I'm talking to you. Yeah, don't, no, don't write me off. No, I'm talking to you. You never read that prescription, do you? Well, you should. Thank you. I'll see you guys next week. Whoa, yo. I would.